Welcome to another episode of Ask Professor V. And in this video, I wanted to answer a question that I get asked all the time. Why did I become a math professor? And did I always know I wanted to teach math? Short answer, absolutely not. The long answer, let's talk. So for those of you who may not know, my mother is actually also a full-time math professor at a local community college. So growing up, maybe I didn't have the typical experience, of someone who struggled with math because it was a subject I always enjoyed. I knew even if I didn't have the best teacher, I could come home, my mom would clear things up for me. And if we were learning some difficult subject, she would walk me through it. And then that turned into me also helping my friends and my classmates with their math homework. And it just felt very natural. All the while, my mom would encourage me to pursue a career in math especially teaching math, because she found her career so fulfilling and rewarding, and she saw how I was gifted in math as well. But I just thought to myself, no, I don't want to do exactly what she does. I have a very different personality. I see different goals and things for myself in the future. Well, fast forward, I'm in high school, and I wanted to start earning some money for myself and, you know, have a little side hustle, if you will. And what came naturally was tutoring, private tutoring in math. I was in an honors math class and our teacher passed around a sheet and said, put your name and phone number on it if you'd like to tutor, be on a tutoring list for other kids in the high school. And I did, and I started getting a few clients that year and I had really good results. They would get their quiz grades up, their course grades up, and I found it really rewarding challenging too, to try to explain math concepts in a way that made sense to each individual that would come and meet with me. Well, by word of mouth, things spread and I had a very booming tutoring business by my senior year of high school. I had already finished AP Calculus, so I was tutoring everything from algebra, stats, trig, through AP Calc senior year. I probably had about 10 students a week on average coming for tutoring. And here's the thing, when you're tutoring people in math, it helps solidify all of those fundamental concepts. So it made me that much more prepared in my own math classes. And math was easily my best subject. Still, I'm applying for university. What's my major? I'm like, absolutely not math. I don't wanna just be my mom's mini me. I was applying as a business major, econ major, all that sort of stuff. So I go to university and my first term, I'm a declared economics major. I take my first economics course and I absolutely hated it. It was this large lecture with 400 students. I found the material dull. I found the professor dull and I just didn't even know how I was going to endure four more years basically. And I didn't even understand what I was going to do career wise with a degree in economics. Thankfully, part of my econ degree required me to take some more advanced math classes. So I had to take multivariable calculus and bam, that was easily my favorite best subject of the term. I found it interesting. The professor was fine, but regardless of that, I loved studying the material. I loved practicing the material. I did very well in that course without an excessive amount of effort. And then I thought to myself, Oh no, maybe I do need to pursue a career in mathematics. My mother was right. So I just kept along in my econ degree. And then by second year, I realized I need to do something serious about it. So at that point, when I went to the counselors, I saw that to get a degree in math um, had a lot of overlap with the same degree requirements that my econ degree had. I could count a lot of the upper division statistics and econometrics course towards both degrees. So I just decided to keep both. And I ended up earning a bachelor's degree in both economics and mathematics after four years. But by my last year, I knew I was going to pursue graduate school for math, and I wanted to pursue a teaching, most likely a, a career in teaching math as well. So when I was in graduate school, I had to take a bunch of, you know, very abstract math courses, real analysis, complex analysis, abstract math, et cetera. And the highlight of my week was when I would go and TA, basically be a teacher's assistant, for the undergraduate courses. So we were paid to help a calculus one or calculus two course. I would basically, I wasn't in charge of giving the main lecture, but I would go over their homework, answer questions, give them quizzes, things like that. And that was something that I looked forward to. I enjoyed, I thrived doing. And mind you all the while, I'm still tutoring. That's still my side hustle. So I knew at that point I needed to pursue a career in teaching. And of course I went to my mother 
for advice on to how to exactly navigate that. And it worked out really well because two months after graduation, I started teaching part-time and then I got hired full-time um, to teach two years after that. And I've been at the same community college district ever since. So what I want to say is that to my students, I have a few pieces of advice. First of all, do what comes naturally to you. Don't put yourself through some sort of program or course that you're not succeeding in. You don't want to feel berated or stupid or like a failure every day of your life. If there's something that you enjoy, really lean into it, but also be practical. Like what can you make a career out of? What can you earn a living doing? Don't pursue something just because it brings you so much joy. If there isn't really some realistic career or a legitimate source of income that you can make doing it. And the other thing I want to say is regardless of what you're going to study, if you're good at math, please consider tutoring math because everybody needs a math tutor. I, I cannot tell you how many times, even now, when I say I'm a math professor, people say, will you tutor my child? No, I don't have time to do that anymore. That was decades ago, but people are always looking for a math tutor. And the genius in tutoring math is that it's self-serving because not only do you get to help people, which is wonderful, but it helps you study and reinforce all of the material that you need in your courses. So I never had to worry, did I remember this formula or this trig identity? Because I literally went over it probably a week ago with somebody in a tutoring session. So it was very solidifying for my career and what I wanted to do. And just stay sharp, stay immersed. And the more time you spend doing something, the better you'll become at it. And that's definitely what I saw because of everything that I've pursued in my life, math is the one thing that I've spent the most time doing. And obviously it's, it's what I'm the best at. So do something you love. And then every single day of your life, you'll be happy and enjoying the career that you chose. Anyways, that's my little piece of advice. If you enjoyed this episode of Ask Professor V, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what other sort of questions you'd like me to answer in future episodes. And if you're in Calc 1, 2, 3, differential equations or linear algebra, you have come to the right place. Check out my full length video lectures. They're organized by course on this YouTube channel and they'll help you navigate and do amazingly well in whatever class you're taking. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you all. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back sooner than later. Bye.